welcome everyone to the Commodity Report for the 18th of November 2022, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So following on from Tuesday's report, as we discussed with you, we have seen the metals get absolutely rug pulled over the last 24 hours. However, many of you have reached out that due to our report on Tuesday, warning you about this, and in fact, giving you a massive opportunity to capitalize that you have also absolutely crushed it alongside ourselves at the Golden Silver Club with our clients, where we have been selling short into multiple positions here in the metals, taking advantage of this massive sell-off that we've seen now over the last 24 hours. So we've now seen platinum prices, copper prices, silver prices break down by more than 5% since Tuesday. And of course, gold now is slowly starting to roll over. We're in fact up 250 points on our sell short on gold. We have multiple sell short positions right now on platinum. We took the opportunity just on Thursday to bank 500 points profit on our sell short, but we're still keeping lots of exposure on the sell side there. And of course, you've taken the opportunity to sell into gold and capitalize on this dollar slingshot move high that we've seen as well from Wednesday through to Thursday, breaking out over 100 points here from the low so far. It comes back to everything that we've been talking you through. Expect more outflows as you go into next week, especially as we start to transition into Thanksgiving, Black Friday, then Cyber Monday, then heading into the end of month profit taking before you transition into massive opportunities on commodities as you move into the final month of the year for December. So again, this just comes back to our point. There are back-to-back -back opportunities to capitalize on right now with the current market volatility that we're seeing with commodities. Day in, day out, week to week, you're seeing double digit gains either to the upside or the downside. So very simply, the playbook last week was of course to be long multiple commodities which gained double digits in the last week. We told you we banked a windfall amount of profit with our clients on Palladium at the start of this week. 3,000 points banked, in fact, last week. Gold put the best weekly performance in since March of 2020, only to see now in the last 24 hours further selling pressure to the downside as we're starting to roll over for this typical time of year as you start to see further acceleration to the downside. Don't rule out further pressure to the downside on the metals next week as well. It would be very careful if you're looking to go long or catch the swing lows at the moment. Now, of course, that's not a guarantee, but I would certainly keep an eye out for the potential of further cascading sell-offs to the downside as we move into next week. We're absolutely positioned for that, but because, again, we've been very early to these trades, we're in favorable spots here where we can start protecting those higher entries and benefit now from the potential cascading sell-offs that we can see continue. Again, platinum prices, copper prices, we've seen silver prices, the same, they're all approximately down four to 5% now over the course of this week, and that could continue further as we transition into next week. Again, it just comes back to our point that right now, this volatility is a trader's paradise. Absolutely, it's not buy and hold. If you want to make money in these markets, you need to be regularly taking your profit off the tables as you get towards the top of the cycle, then essentially set it back down again, and then take advantage and come back in at the low of the cycle and repeat that cycle. And that's, of course, the magic when it comes to trading, capitalizing on both sides of the market, taking advantage of this massive volatility that we see right now in the commodity markets. Now, of course, alongside that, just be aware that once we start moving into the month of December, you've got so many news-driven events, everything from the FOMC statement to the Bank of England to the European Central Bank announcement to further CPI data to, of course, the end of year and end of quarter profit-taking. There's going to be so many opportunities for you to maximize it once we start to transition into next week and going into December. Some major opportunities to reload on a lot of commodities that you absolutely do not want to miss out on after we're done with this flush out that we're seeing right now on many commodities that, as you know, we're taking advantage of. Again, I just encourage you to go back and watch Tuesday's report. As the metals were all breaking out, we were flipping position, banking our profits and going sell short. All of that has worked out for a windfall amount of profit just within the matter of 48 hours. So again, in this current environment where you need to be recession proof and inflation proof, there's no better skill to learn than trading. One in two people, they are now turning to trading to beat inflation. If you want to earn more, you have to learn more. And trading is one of the best skills that you can learn in 2022 to propel you into 2023 to hit the ground running and take advantage of massive opportunities ahead in the commodity market. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the professional research of an approach to the market, ditch those outdated technical analysis strategies and gimmicky technical indicators, you just end up being chopped up all the time, ends up being 
death by a thousand cuts. We definitely do not want that for you. If you want to maximize it in these market conditions, join our community of successful traders. And with that, learn the professional researcher and approach where you'll learn and understand how to implement the knowledge and the data statistics for trading the daily, the weekly, the quarterly, the monthly real-time data-driven cycles for each commodity. Alongside that, further compound that with the knowledge and understanding of the key liquidity zones where you want to be banking your profits and reloading on trades as well. Further align that with the intermarket correlations in the markets, the capital flows. And alongside that, of course, be aware of the key areas of liquidity, the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market. Learn and understand the major narratives in the market, especially the narratives coming from central banks and how to position for that well ahead of time and of course learn how the hedge funds money managers banks and institutions are positioned in the market in real time that is going to help you massively to get an edge so with that if you would like to join our community of successful traders learn the professional research and approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program